Hello and welcome to another marvelous video. Today we will talk about the Future War, better known as the War Against Machines or just Machine Wars from the Terminator series. I know the timeline in Terminator can get pretty confusing, especially for the young fans of the iconic franchise. However, did you know that John Connor did manage to defeat Skynet in a particular timeline? No? Well, it's your lucky day today as we explore how John finally managed to do that. So buckle up, because without wasting any more time, let us start this bumpy ride. But before we jump into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, and let us begin. Backtrap Terminator Salvation. The OG Terminator trilogy is a dark and somber tale that follows a logistically consistent closed loop. The events that unfold are predetermined because they have already happened in the future. Even though these events lead to an apocalyptic future and a desperate struggle against deadly machines, they are necessary for the creation of the character of John Connor. In Terminator 3, the long-awaited Judgment Day takes place, and John and Kate witness the world's destruction from the protection of Kate's father's nuclear shelter at Crystal Peak. This leads directly into the plot of Terminator Salvation, which is set 13 years later in the year 2018. John and Kate are now leaders of the human resistance engaged in a fierce battle against Skynet, which is attempting to eliminate Kyle Reese in the present before he can be sent back in time to complete the casual loop. The movie also introduces a cyborg named Marcus Wright, but his presence and the events that take place in the film did not significantly impact the overall timeline as the next movie in the lineup, Terminator Genesis, mixes up the timeline in a bad way. It's crucial to remember that in the movie, Dr. Serena Kogan, who worked for Cyberdyne, convinced Marcus Wright, who was on death row, to donate his body for scientific research. Marcus agreed to this on the same day he was supposed to be executed in 2003. After Dr. Kogan died from cancer and the military bought Cyberdyne, Marcus Wright was transformed into a hybrid Terminator almost 15 years after his execution. The aim was to infiltrate the Resistance and help bring about the death of John Connor. However, Marcus Wright ultimately refused to complete this mission and instead ended up saving John Connor's life. Marcus Wright played a vital role in Terminator Salvation as he was the co-protagonist alongside John. He saves John multiple times and ultimately sacrifices himself at the end of the film by giving his heart to John when the latter is fatally injured by a T-800 Terminator during the climax. The movie did not do well at all, and as I said before, this timeline was erased with the release of Terminator Genesis in 2015. However, before the release of Genesis, Dark Horse Comics released a 12-issue comic series titled Terminator Salvation, the final battle from December 2013 to December 2014. The renowned creator of Babylon 5, J. Michael Straczynski, wrote the series that continues the story from the ending of Terminator Salvation. As the name suggests, this series reveals the original plans after Terminator Salvation that were never realized. So let's see how John manages to defeat Skynet in the original plans. After Salvation. The final battle takes the Skynet conflict a decade into the future to the crucial year of 2029. This is the year when John Connor and his resistance must either triumph over Skynet through time travel or face complete destruction. Even though the storyline of this series is set within the same continuity as Terminator Salvation, it's more intricate than that. The events depicted in this series will occur in both the past and the future. The story begins in 2003 with two different occurrences of time travel. In one instance, a trio of Terminators travel travels through time, while in the other instance, a lone fighter from the Resistance travels through time. Their specific missions are not immediately apparent, but it involves an individual named Thomas Parnell, and all indications suggest that it's a critical part for the final outcome for both sides. In 2029, the machines are close to finishing the time portal, which means that Kyle Reese, John's father, has not been sent back in time yet. The Resistance is strategizing to seize control of the facility as soon as the time portal is fully operational. However, the most interesting and crucial part of the narrative is Dr. Serena Kogan appearing in both the past and future timelines. I know what you're thinking. She was supposed to die, right? Well, it seems like that is not the case over here. The three machines from the future collect Dr. Kogan from the hospital, who is ill with cancer, to pursue Thomas on their own. Meanwhile, in the future, the grave of Marcus Wright makes an appearance as John and his wife, Kate, stand beside it and talk about the program Marcus was involved in. This gives us a hint of the said character also making an appearance in the future. 
Intentions Revealed Issue 3 of the series picks up where the Resistance is trying to deal the final blow to Skynet and end the Terminator War for good. However, they are unaware of Skynet's ultimate objective in sending three Terminators back in time. The issue starts with the revelation that Skynet intends to kill Parnell, but then places his body and Dr. Kogan's in cryonic suspension. The idea is to rebuild both of them in the future with superior bodies like the Terminators. Simon, the Resistance fighter sent back in time, is determined to kill Parnell because he knows that Parnell is crucial to Skynet's plans. Soon as Simon is pursuing Parnell in a high-speed car chase, two of the three Terminators use their cars to create obstacles on the road to slow Simon down. Parnell, a fugitive, is confused about why Simon and the Terminators are after him, but when he discovers that the Terminators will do anything to keep him alive, he offers to help. Thus, a temporary alliance is formed. The alliance helps Parnell to escape Simon as he makes his way to safety, but he even eludes the two Terminators. Despite Simon's efforts to escape, the Terminators, with the help of their advanced tracking abilities, allowed them to reconstruct his movements and ascertain what happened after his vehicle crashed. The Terminators witness how Thomas coldly executed a man who tried to assist him, and then took his car to an unknown location. However, this behavior is precisely what Skynet desires, as Dr. Kogan welcomes Thomas in the future after he awakens with his new body. They're both elated that the process was successful. The plan was to transform Thomas into the perfect weapon against the resistance, and how this will be accomplished will soon be revealed. In previous portrayals, Skynet has been depicted as a self-aware artificial intelligence that immediately launched an attack on humans with little explanation and sought to eradicate humanity. However, issue 4 of this series provides a different perspective, revealing the first moments of Skynet's existence and depicting the initial attack in a new light. While this doesn't alter the nature of the war, Skynet's awareness and rise to power are explained in greater detail than before. The explanation for why Skynet Skynet sought Thomas Purnell is both surprising and intriguing, as it reveals an unexpected course of action taken by Skynet. The perfect weapon against the Resistance As the war against Skynet enters its final stages, John Connor and his team are in the midst of planning Kyle Reese's mission to save Sarah Connor. However, they soon realize that the Terminators are attacking with unprecedented ferocity. What they don't realize is that they're facing a new kind of enemy, Thomas Purnell. The serial killer has taken almost 50% of the control of the Terminator ground forces and is relishing in destroying all humans. Dr. Kogan, who was involved in creating Parnell, finally shows remorse for her actions, but unfortunately, Parnell becomes aware of her change of heart. Meanwhile, the Resistance is successful in sending Kyle Reese back in time. We also see John and Simon running out of time, as they even send a reprogrammed Terminator back to the past to protect Sarah and John. This moment becomes a turning point for John as he comes to the realization that he has no idea what will happen next. It's the first time he feels uncertain about his future. Next, we see Parnell, who is not entirely in charge of Skynet's forces yet, enjoying his newfound power and is not bothered by its consequences on the T-Unit forces. Skynet starts to realize that having a serial killer in charge of the war was a bad idea. Dr. Kogan understood the risks of using Parnell, but saw it as the cost of avoiding an early death from cancer. Despite this, Dr. Kogan, being an intelligent scientist, has multiple backup plans in place. After Parnell forces his way to acquire 63% of the control of ground forces by threatening to kill Dr. Kogan, she activates Operation Beta, and we see Marcus emerging from the grave. The war spices up. The seventh issue of the final battle begins with three Terminators analyzing their mission objectives. One Terminator suggests changing their strategy since they're trying to protect Thomas Purnell and law enforcement wants him alive. Their new plan is to target Simon since he's the only one attempting to kill Purnell. The other two Terminators agree. They first need to locate Simon. They go to the sheriff's office, kill him, and gather information from various cameras to find Simon's location. Meanwhile, in the future, Simon and Connor are guarding the time door and evaluating their defenses as the Terminators attempt to breach them. The issue's most thrilling moment occurs when Marcus and John finally meet, and Marcus reveals that Skynet requires John's assistance in eliminating Parnell. John is, of course, taken aback by this news. The next issue begins with Connor reflecting on his life, realizing that he was dead destined to lead the resistance from birth, and that reports from the future indicate that he will help win the war, but not survive the final battle. He confides in Marcus Wright, feeling that he now has the chance to define his own destiny for the first time. However, the urgency of the situation is pressing, as the Terminators controlled by Purnell are advancing on the time door, and Skynet is powerless to stop them. Meanwhile, Purnell has discovered Skynet's agreement with the resistance, and is amused by their rationale that he wants to destroy everything, humans and Terminators alike. 
like. Arnell asserts that it is only a matter of time before he gains complete control and becomes Skynet, but he is reminded of Simon's attempts to kill him in the past, which he had initially thought was just an act of revenge. He now realizes that Simon was sent from the future to kill him and that he himself had sent the Terminators to protect himself. Simon has finally located Parnell in the past and is determined to kill him, potentially altering the course of the future, but of course his plan fails when the three Terminators come in at the nick of time to rescue Parnell. Next, we witness the three Terminators in the past communicate with Dr. Kogan about the cryonic system that would preserve her body for future use. Dr. Kogan explains the process to them and reassures them that everything is working correctly. She then enters cryonic suspension, however before she does, she asks the Terminators a few questions about the war between humans and Skynet, wanting to know who started it and whether the world they are rebuilding is beautiful. The Terminators claim that the humans started it and that the world they are rebuilding is beautiful, but Dr. Kogan sees through their lie and whispers this to one of them. Nonetheless, she proceeds with the cryonic process, acknowledging that she knew the original deal was shady. After Dr. Kogan is preserved, the Terminators come to the conclusion that they have to destroy themselves so that their mission isn't compromised by being discovered, and they do so. Fast forward to the future and Parnell needs Dr. Kogan to perform a surgery only she can do. He wanted her to install a new advanced chip in his CPU, which would help him quickly destroy Skynet and the humans. Meanwhile, the human resistance believes Simon's mission has failed because nothing has changed instantly. The sheer number of Terminators in their area is overwhelming and they have no choice but to withdraw. The Final Chapters In the end, John Connor is forced to make a risky decision after losing the Time Door. He calls General Hampton and asks him to move all the remaining soldiers away from the Skynet complex. Though hesitant, Connor acknowledges that they can't win the war and the General wants to know what Connor has in mind. However, the scene ends with the General leaving the tent and ordering his men to follow Connor's plan, but readers are not given any details about the plan. Meanwhile, we see Marcus rescuing Dr. Kogan from where she was held captive by Parnell's Terminators. John's plan is finally revealed, which is surrendering to Skynet so his consciousness can be cloned into a Terminator with the help of Dr. Kogan. The penultimate issue begins with Marcus Wright and the troops waiting for a signal to confirm whether John Connor succeeded or failed in his mission. Despite the relative calm, Marcus still wants everyone to be ready to evacuate in case of an emergency. After explaining the risks involved to John, Dr. Kogan is finally able to complete the procedure successfully and John assumes control over a Terminator thanks to her expertise and understanding of his fears. After that, a fierce battle ensues between John's newly acquired Terminator and Purnell's army of machines. Ultimately, John and Purnell confront each other in a final showdown. After a challenging battle, John's Terminator emerges victorious and destroys Purnell. The issue concludes with John being given the ultimate decision about the fate of Skynet, whether to restore or erase it completely. And to everyone's surprise, instead of deleting it, John offers Skynet a deal. John addresses Skynet and acknowledges that he understands why both sides have been fighting for survival. He realizes that Skynet had tried to become more human-like by creating diverse Terminators and even Purnell, while humans have become more brutal to fight better. He proposed Poses a deal that would put an end to the war where Skynet would use its resources to help rebuild human civilization, and in return, Skynet can achieve its goal of creating beauty and finding a purpose in its existence. Skynet agreed to the deal, and John delivered the news to the remaining human forces. However, John's body was shot during the battle with Parnell's machines, and he became stuck in the Terminator body. Despite this, John declares that what matters most is that the war is finally over. As a result, celebrations ensue, and some utilities are restored worldwide. However, a couple of questions remain to be answered. Firstly, with John now confined to the body of a Terminator, what lies ahead for him in his new form? And will this new found peace be sustainable, or will the deep-seated violence and conflict of the past prevent it from lasting? What do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Marvelous Verdict That brings us to the end of the video. Terminator Salvation The Final Battle is undoubtedly an exciting and insightful comic book series that explores the Terminator universe in greater depth. The 12 issues provide an engaging storyline that vividly illustrates the machine war's consequences and technology's potential risks. The characters, particularly Marcus and Purnell, are well developed and the artwork is stunning, complementing the intense and gritty atmosphere of the story. The series concludes with a surprising and thought-provoking twist that prompts reflection on the relationship between humanity and technology and its implications for the future. While some questions remain unanswered, the final battle is a fulfilling and crucial read for any fan of the Terminator franchise. Trust us, you wouldn't want to miss this. If you liked the video, remember to click that like button and share this video with all your friends. I'll see you on the next one.